is up everybody this is beetle 5 here coming at you with another one of my reaction videos today with me i got my friend the ginger hello everyone. and we will be reacting to ratchet and clank versus jack and daxter death battle death now battle. i i have requested this death battle for a good few years now so i'm pretty excited about this one and my thoughts are is that jack and daxter are definitely going to win this fight because jack has not only dark form but also light form which definitely gives him a huge edge over ratchet ratchet as far as i know does not have any kind of superhuman abilities other than the fact that he has a huge arsenal of weapons which might give him an edge maybe if he uses the rhino i don't know how familiar with our ratchet and clank ginger me i played all three jack and daxters and normally I, play, the I play like maybe like 30 minutes of Ratchet and Clank. Okay, I've, I've only played and beaten the first Ratchet and Clank. I never played any beyond that. But I don't know that one of his strongest weapons is his weapon called the Rhino, which is basically oh, yeah. a fully automatic rocket launcher. So it's, okay. so it's a pretty badass weapon. But otherwise, going to this match, I really think that Jack and Axel will win this fight. So it's, yeah, it's, I it's, only know of like, I only know Ratchet and Clank is like because of the robot. And Clank. Jack and Daxter, I know because they're almost like they're almost like Ratchet and Clank, but yeah, in a way. Robot. I mean, okay, you know, but, you you know of them, so that's that's yeah. okay. You know of. If them. If I really have to pick one, uh, based on what they look like, what it kind of just sort of who they are, I rather just say Jack and Dexter because Dexter. Da like, Daxter, not Dexter. Oh uh, yeah, sorry. D, D A. Okay. Yeah. Daxter, All right. He looks awesome. So. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna stop rambling and start this death battle. We're gonna start now in three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Angry Video Game. How Part long have they been promoting this game? Quiet! Right now! I've been there with their, like, partnership. We made it. Yeah, I know, I know that. I mean, they, they've promoted this game, like, in the past yeah. three Death Battles already. We get it. Angry Video Game is Oh, man, yeah. I just, I, 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 I love Jack and Daxter too much. More than Ratchet Clank. Sometimes, the most unlikely of friends can become the best of heroes. Ratchet and Clank, the Cosmic Commandos. And Jack and Daxter, the masters of eco. <laughs> He's whiz and I'm <laughs> And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, Dark and Jack. skills to find out who would win a death Oh, that's battle. awesome. Yeah, that, that, that's PlayStation All-Stars, I think. Oh, okay. It was a time of chaos. The unstoppable Kragmite Empire wreaked havoc across the galaxy until a race of unlikely heroes fought back. The Lombaxes, who may be some sort of lemur wombat? <laughs> like the are, rats from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Rot ended up stopping the Empire by banishing them to another dimension. Well, all except one. And boy, would that come back to bite him in the ass. Raised as one of their own, the last Kragmite betrayed his foster Lombaxes, raised an army of fish people, and in some sense of cruel, ironic justice, banished the entire Lombax race to their own dimension as well. Hmm. And just as ironically, missed one who would prove to be his greatest adversary. This lone Lombax's name was Ratchet, and he spent most of his days stranded on a random planet, digging around with mechanics. Has a vendetta against wooden crates. <laughs> you did, you did break a lot of wooden crates in the first one. Scrounged up all the scraps he could find, used his natural gift with machines, and built a spaceship so incredible it would finally take him off this boring planet once and for. Oh. <laughs> Without an onboard robot ignition system, this hunk of junk would never fly. And with Ratchet's luck, it's not like one was just gonna drop out of the sky or anything. There's Clank. I'll be damned. This was the SentryBot serial number XJ0461. Well, that's hard to say in conversation, and he makes a clanky sound when he falls over, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll just call you Clank. Clank had just been assembled maybe half an hour earlier and was already running for his life. Wow. Yeah, see, he came from Favorite a robot killing machine million. making factory. Yeah, that's a big ass <laughs> number. malfunction and made this little guy, it decided to scrap him for parts. So naturally, he got the hell out of there, ended up with. Yeah, see, I remember all this on the first they one. Became the greatest hero duo in the galaxy. While they started out as an unlikely pair, they picked up all sorts of experience along the way. Ratchet has been trained as a commando and is proficient in martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, ballroom dancing, what? and origami. <laughs> and despite his diminutive size, Clank is an asset in combat as well. When paired with Ratchet, he can act as a personal helicopter or even a jetpack. Yeah, Clank is also, pretty helpful. Turns out Clank wasn't a mistake after all. He possesses the soul of a Zoni, 
energy-based creatures with the ability to manipulate time and be immune to time altering wow. effects. Oh no! And eventually, but, these powers th manifest. Th that means he's going to be immune well. to the powers of Light Jack. <laughs> he's a robo Shit. wizard. Who did you say gave you this thing? The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel through time. Oh, I like his oh. voice. Right. Light Jack has the ability to stop time, which sucks there. He's going to be immune to that. Microscopic Damn. machines, which instantly repair their bodies after any injury, mm. though their number is limited. But Ratchet and Clank's true strength lies up their arsenal. Ha! <laughs> That's the name of one of their other games. <laughs> up your arsenal. That's funny. the Omni Wrench to rocket launchers. But the real beauty lies in all his wacky weapons. Like the Vortex Cannon, which sucks up tiny enemies and blasts them back out like little flaming meteors. The mini turret glove can deploy dozens of auto-targeting machine guns, which can destroy tanks. Like I said, hell of an arsenal. There's also a disco ball, which forces foes to helplessly dance before them. <laughs> it's still not as ridiculous as the Sheepinator. Ratchet's gadgetry also includes energy shields, close-range shredder claws, and a variety of drones to assist him in battle. He's even picked up a gun that turns enemies into tiny, adorable sheep. Yep, but hang on. Sheepinator. We can't forget my all-time favorite, the Rhino. The Rhino. Five. Part minigun, part rocket launcher, this beauty unleashes a glorious river of death in whatever direction she's facing. All set to Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. I'm honestly surprised you know how to say his name. <laughs> oh yeah, the dude played my favorite musical instrument. What, <laughs> the piano? No, no. Cannon. <laughs> the cannon. Uh, anyway, in their adventures, Ratchet and Clank have done some pretty impressive things. They were skilled enough to win numerous gladiator battles, strong enough to stop the blow. Can Halo jump, jump without a parachute? Wrench, fast enough to dodge close-range laser fire, tough enough to survive an explosive shipwreck, and even the vacuum of space. However, their ability to survive deadly blows is entirely dependent on their supply of nanotech. If they run out of microbots, the next blow is sure to be <sighs> fatal. But Ratchet and Clank's greatest strength doesn't come from any outlandish weapon or body rebuilding nano machine. Teamwork. Rather, <laughs> it is their unbreakable bond of friendship. Knew it. And <laughs> friendship and same teamwork. shit. Yeah, same shit. <laughs> oh, God, that was so freaking lame. <laughs> Robots are not so easily fooled. Ah, what's that? What? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Alright. Come on. Jack got this. Light, light form may be useless against Ratchet, Eco. but he still got the dark form, which Left makes him invincible. Left like beings called the Precursors, Eco came in six different types, each possessing a different power. But what became of the Precursors? How did they harness the power of Eco? The answers, they say, lie in the destiny of the mischievous teenage boy I'm gonna have to replay this game again. Jack. Played it Jack ages. was born into royalty as the son of King Dumbass. <laughs> Damus. Dumbass. The ruler of Haven City. King Jack Dumbass. His future as heir to the throne Damus. Some douche named Baron Praxis overthrew his dad. The former king was separated from his son and banished to the wastelands, leaving Jack to grow up a wandering orphan. Until he was taken in and Samos. raised by Samos, the elder of Sandover Village. Here, he met his best friend to be, Daxter. No, oh, I don't know why he would ever want to be friends with a guy that never shuts up. The Saints yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? A pair of, did Daisy wants the most, a pair of comfy long, shorts. Jack and Daxter <laughs> became inseparable and did just about all their teenage tomfoolery together. Like stealing a speedboat to explore the Forbidden Misty Island. Yeah, turns out it was forbidden for a pretty damn good reason. That's when he got turned into a, what was it? An, an ocelite. Well, whatever the hell it's called, I can't remember. Man, that stung! Oh no, he fell into the weasel pool! <laughs> well, technically, he fell into a pool of dark eco, which transformed him into an otzel. Not whatever soul, the hell that's, that's what supposed it is. to be. <laughs> <laughs> that scene was so Peter funny. Took it pretty well, all things considered. I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, where's the unweasel pool? I love it's that. It's not so simple. In order to reverse Daxter's transformation, they would have to find the Sage of Dark Eco. To prepare them for this journey, Samos trained them to harness the power of Eco and, in turn, to become formidable warriors. With green Eco, Jack can restore lost health and create shields. With yellow Eco, he can launch energy projectiles from his hands. 
Blue Eco doubles his speed and reflexes, and Red Eco does the same for his strength, allowing him to take down tough enemies with a single strike. That'll definitely strike. help him against but Ratchet's when arsenal. Tinkering yeah. with ancient precursor technology sent them tumbling into a dystopian future. It's a long story. Jack was captured and experimented on by Baron Praxis, who wanted to turn him into a super soldier. That's how he received the Dark Jack really power. Know what he okay. was doing, and poor Jack was stuck as his lab rat for two straight years, until Daxter finally busted him out. Jack was so happy, he spoke his first words ever. I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Oh, my first words were beer! Now! <laughs> my first Praxis, words were beer! Now! To turn Jack into Captain America, they did oh, wow. grant him the ability to consume Dark Ego Dark and temporarily transform into the mighty Dark Jack. Dark Jack can use Dark Ego for a bunch of powerful projectiles. He also grow really and big. He can even triple in size yeah, and strength. Love that. It's On so top of powerful. that, Dark Jack is also completely invulnerable. Yep. That's right. We bad. That's definitely what's gonna have Jack win this fight. If one super form wasn't enough, Jack gained another when he came face to face with the precursors themselves. And turns out they're all Otzels like Dexter. <laughs> that blew me away. <laughs> like, holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> they gave him the ability to consume light eco in order to counterbalance the darkness within. Never guess what they called it. They basically Give turned him into a precursor. Jack. In this okay. form, Jack can glide through the air, create a force field, regenerate from wounds, and even freeze time itself. When there's Which not enough dark no or light eco to him, on hand really. to run around yeah. blasting people with godlike energy, Jack wields one of the most versatile weapons ever created, the Morph Gun. Powered by different types of eco, it can work like a shotgun, grenade launcher, or minigun. It can fire ricocheting laser shots, homing needles, and even freaking lightning! And when <laughs> Jack sets the morph gun to mass inverter mode, it can blast a wave of dark eco so absurd it alters the very laws of gravity on anybody within its reach. Yeah, but if that fails, they can just blast them with the supernova. It basically one-shots about anything. Oh, it's like shooting a mini nuke, basically. It's a pretty strong ass shot. <laughs> this place has too much excitement. <laughs> we need to move back to the country. <laughs> Armed to the teeth with weapons and eco, Jack and Dexter successfully dethroned Praxis and saved Haven City thanks to several impressive feats along the way. Like getting up no problem after being crushed in a cave-in, or tearing through solid metal doors like wet paper. Dexter helps when he can. Usually by steering missiles into people, but most of the heavy <laughs> lifting is done by Jack. Like the one time he did this. Oh, I remember this. Jack and Dexter are incredibly resourceful. They won a gladiator style battle with nothing but an unmodified morph gun. And their drive to win is so strong they even mm, took first Jack the X. City that was the racing game that they made like right after poison. three. Even giant that was pretty terraforming good. robots trying to destroy the world fall to their teamwork, provided they have enough ego. They can only carry so much eco at once, roughly under a minute's worth in combat for each color type, and so they rely on replenishing. You know what though? Eco is literally everywhere in the oh, game. Okay. There's like never a spot where you can't find eco. It's in the entire environment. Through. Even still, don't underestimate the so he, he should never be Jack running out of that. It's the last thing a lot of bad guys ever did. Yeah, you can keep talking. Yeah, yeah the the eco's all over the world. It's like a na it's like a natural element that can be found all over nature. All right. All right, the combatants are set. I know. I mean, light form is definitely out of the question for first, ja for Jack I'm now. It's not going to work against Ratchet, time. so it's you can buy it now. basically it's dark, his dark form. However long the he can maintain Dark back. Jack, because it is a limited time. So once it's out, he's in trouble. So however long he can maintain Dark Jack to be able to beat Ratchet, that's what that's what will give him a win. And of course, all the foul mouth carnage, old school platforming action you could want. I don't know. I think it's going to be really close, but I I want to I want to place my faith in Jack. Jack, what do you think? I think so what are you waiting for? Go pick it up. Time but right now, yeah, they're, they're resistant to time stop, right. So I think they're gonna win. Alright. One, on, oh, one, one, one vote, one vote. Works for me. Oh, good! Add. It's Jack and Daxter's... What is it? Whole environment. So good, that's wait, 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 plenty of eco for the take. I got an ad. Did, oh, you got an ad? Yeah. Alright, hold up. Alright, that's better. There we go. Okay, so Ratchet and Clank just crashed. 
Oh, it's a that's the last Jack's time house. Quark fixed oh, the it looks so good. Ha, Actually, damn it, Quark! Weren't you the one who overclocked the accelerator? <laughs> huh? Eco. This is new. Oh man, they look excellent. Yeah. Hey, do you have any idea what you've done? Yeah. <laughs> guys, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable on the couch. <laughs> if you can find what's left of it. <laughs> nah, this isn't so bad. Oh, damn it, Ratchet. I'm very sorry for your loss, Mr. Weasel. <laughs> oh, Mr. Weasel. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like it's us who needs to fix you. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, damn. <laughs> Get him, Daxter. Get him, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, damn it, Clank! Here we go. Oh, Ratchet has a hoverboard too, I totally forgot about that. They both have hoverboards. Oh, Vortex Cannon. Ah, he got Daxter! No! Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> Look, he turned into Charmander. Yeah. Me off. <laughs> <I got him. laughs> oh shit. Um mercy? Um no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh nice green echo. That boosts his speed. Can't keep up. <laughs> Anti gravity. Rest in peace. Come on, come on. Oh damn it. Oh, Ratchet. Oh, get him, get him. Come on, shoot him out of the sky. There you go. Can't you go any faster? I wasn't designed for this. How are you not hitting him? Let's try this. Uh oh, mini, mini turrets. Oh, mini turrets. Oh, shit. Any more weapons you want to throw at me? Unfortunately, yes. I don't think I need any more. Oh! Oh no! Oh yeah! Dark Jack, here we go! Okay, okay. It's game now. Come on. Take advantage. Uh-huh. Well, um <coughs> maybe just one more. Oh, and he has the rhino! <laughs> Daxter! Ratchet behind us! Hit him, hit him! Knock him down! Yeah! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the rhino is flinging around! <laughs> Come on, come on! Oh man! <laughs> oh! No, no, no! No! Damn it! He's out of torque! Oh, light form is not gonna help you! No! Damn it! No, it won't work! It, time manipulation won't work! Oh shit! Oh. 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 No! Yeah. Oh. Curtain. <laughs> oh. Oh. Jack and Dax oh, were formidable I can't players, believe they especially lost. when they had enough eco on hand. Damn. But Ratchet and Clank's better teamwork, superior defenses, and overwhelming arsenal trumped them in the end. <sighs> While they both had ways to patch themselves up, Ratchet's nanotech was way more reliable and plentiful than Jack's green eco. And Ratchet's shields and incapacitative weaponry were more than enough to put a stop to Jack's more offensive eco. Haha, <laughs> take that, nature! While Jack and Daxter's morph gun was one of the most versatile weapons we've ever seen, it absolutely pales in comparison to the sheer size and power of Ratchet and Clank's arsenal. Damn. Jack's best shot was his dark form. Like I Unlike said. Like everything Jack and Daxter had, it didn't take long to run out of juice. Well, Ratchet and Clank had more than enough gadgets and weaponry to keep up the fight. Plus, Clank is an infinitely more capable sidekick than Daxter. <laughs> yeah, that Especially is true. Daxter, and Daxter barely does it shit in the game, game series. Over for Jack and Daxter. 
The winners are Ratchet and Clank. All right. Fair win. Next time on... Oh, yeah. All right. Be a good one. Come on. Be a good one. Be a good one. The Flash. Oh, The Flash. So nice. Who could he possibly go up against, though? Quicksilver? From, from X-Men? Maybe. Maybe Quicksilver. Yeah. Do you watch the show on Netflix? Uh, on Netflix yeah. or don't watch the, I, see, I haven't watched The Flash yet. Yeah. I even watched Injustice. Mm, Injustice. That's a good game. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright. The Flash. Cool. Hey. hey everybody, I'm Chad, I play Boomstick. I'm Ben, I play Wiz, and thank you so much for watching Ratchet and Clank vs. Jack and Daxter. And remember, you can watch the next episode early by signing up for a sponsorship. If you no, thank you. Already. It's uh, not you worth can it. the link below, and there's even a 30-day free trial. Oh, nice. And then you'll get I'm to so see Flash vs. I'm so bummed, though. I really, really, really thought they were going to play that. Yeah, yeah, I knew right when you were going to send that. You can alternate my... Well, well, his two best forms are light and dark. And honestly, I almost remember... Certain that his dark form is definitely stronger Can than his light form, and oh, yeah. but I'm like, I know, okay, oh, yeah, Clank like, can well, resist battle. time manipulation, so he was able to assist the Ratchet's gun so that he could kill in the end. But I really thought his dark form would have been able to take him down. I think no, right now for the next, one, yeah, for Flash, I think the only character is. This is only if they're. This is also if they're pitting him against a superhero character. They don't have to pin him up against a, another superhero. They could simply pin him up yeah. against another creature or something. Oh, so, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, that might be an interesting fight, but still, regardless. Yeah. That was a really, really good death battle. Oh, yeah. The animation looks Yeah, the animation was spectacular. Glad it turned out. So, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else you should react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later. Laters!